Could we be looking at a big deal winter storm for portions further south into the northeast as we go throughout next weekend? Well, model madness is upon us, and we're starting to see a little bit more in the way of some agreement on the board, whether you're the American model, the Canadian model, or the European model. A good stripe of snow possible, good phasing, those dynamics, that batches of energy coming together, and good moisture out of the Gulf Coast and out of the Atlantic Ocean as well. So what's gonna transpire? Hello, I'm meteorologist Brian Ivey for your Snowplow News video. News and reviews all about the snow and ice management industry. Not much going on here in the very short term. We'll get a little system to develop across portions of the Northeast. And then a slow developing system across maybe the Great Lakes with some mixing on the southern side into the northeast as these couple waves kind of come together here. You'll see that take place, but nothing really across the south. It'll be pretty quiet across much of the east or west as well. We'll have to watch for maybe a extended period of quiet weather, but that's your system for right now in the next couple of days. A little bit of snow, not a big deal. A little bit of mix on the southern side. This is that bigger deal system starting to take shape. That is the potential for the weekend into early next week. What will happen with that? I'll show you that more in a bit. This is snowfall to date, so not coming up all season so far. How much snow have we gotten? Well, the interesting thing is Tennessee and maybe even Arkansas and Alabama, Mississippi, more than spots in the Midwest, Indiana, Illinois. Once you get up further north into Wisconsin and Michigan and portions of the Northeast, it's been a little bit more normal. But yeah, even Ohio, uh, just a couple inches of snow through mid-January is not much at all. Big time warm temperatures compared to average as we go throughout those next few days back into the northwest and into the northern plains. But big batches of major cold at times in towards the Great Lakes, northeast, eastern Canada. Warmth tries to build back east and then the cold will come and just squash it. And we're talking big, bitter time cold across Ontario, Quebec, Ohio, into New England, especially across portions of the Northeast going forward. That cold will generally settle down across portions of the Eastern portion of the country. And you get this big battle zone here, and that should allow those clipper systems to march their way on in. So back to our big system here. Let's take a look at that. There's not gonna be much going on across the West. So I'm gonna just step over here and we're gonna watch this dig on down towards the south and pick up that Gulf Coast moisture, that Atlantic moisture, and swing on in. This is days out. This is towards the end of next weekend, in towards the early portion of the week. A lot can change, but there could be a decent snow event for the south into the mid-Atlantic, and this would be a very heavy blast of snow. This would be your good old-fashioned winter storm where you're producing several inches of accumulation. Uh, so something to watch. Into the northeast it goes, pretty quiet elsewhere. Uh, this is going to be a big change where you just don't have the parade of moisture and you don't have much in the way of mountain snow further out across the west. And not much going on once we get into the middle portions of next week, maybe a little rain system beginning to form. We're going to have that below average amounts of moisture back from the Gulf Coast into the Ohio Valley and into the northeast at times. Then we're going to probably watch for that moisture to increase and push it out a little bit further west. It'll retrograde. Uh, but not a major wet pattern across the east and then certainly dry for the west coast as it looks like right now with fairly normal conditions with those active clippers at times for portions of the upper midwest and northern plains so if we do get that system that could be the kind of the track of the heavy snow and yeah some spots do indeed get your 5 10 15 inches of snow if it played out like that plenty of time to watch and see, but I do like the signals for a pretty decent Martin Luther King Day weekend winter storm. Thanks for checking out the video. Please subscribe, definitely appreciate and share, and you have yourself a wonderful day.